Hi guys, how you all doing? You're back with me Daza and today on Daza Does we were trying some cider. Now, this is going to be a bit of a long video, right? A wee bit of a long video. I'm going to have a wee kind of spiel here and there and a bit more laid back to be fair. The first thing I was going to say to you was, see the whole intro bit to that there? I always give it the, hi guys, you're back with me Daza. I said to the message the other day, I think about scrapping that. And she went, what? You can't do that, you can't do that. I said, how not? She went, that's your thing, that's, that's what you do. I said, alright then. So. I'm not going to scrap it, but pff, sometimes I can't be asked to do it, but I'll just do it. Uh, right, so basically guys, what's happened is, I reviewed a uh, something, was it cider? Uh, oh, oh, it was, I reviewed the Alski cider, Alska cider from uh, Aldi, a wee while back, and uh, Cranes Cider Company, Cranes, the boys from Cranes, they're, I think they're twins, I think they're actually twins, if I remember, they've been on for a while, but they're twins, right? And they've made their own cider and they're on Instagram and they said to me, good review mate, why don't you try some cranes? And I thought, oh, not, not too bad, I like a cider on me. So I said, we messaged them back saying, where, where can you get it? And they said, Asda, blah, 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 blah. So that was enough. So, after I found that you can get it in Asda and I've done my online shop, I went and bought some cider. Crane cider. Uh, but we've actually got three bottles to drink, right? I'm not going to drink all three in this video because I don't drink that quick, but uh, I thought, why the fuck not? So they're only £1.50 a go on Asda, right? Uh, what did I see the thing a minute ago? The, that one had a different label to it. Right, this one's a Cranes Cranberry Cider. Cranberries and Limes, right? That one there. This one is a Pomegranate. You can't even see me there. Raspberries and Pomegranates Cider, 4% volume. Fantastic. And last but not least, we have Cranes Cider Blueberries and Apples. Look at that. Yeah. Ah, better. There we are. Uh, so they're all four percent. They are naturally li naturally light cider. I can barely say that. Um, Thirty percent fewer calories than other branded ciders. So that's fantastic. Five hundred milliliters in every bottle. Two alcoholic units in every bottle. So that's basically basically it. Crafted in Great Britain by founder and twin brothers. Yeah, I knew I was right. I knew I was right. So here we are, guys. Before we kick off. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, if you're new to, to this channel, feel free to click the button and even the notification bell and all that crap. Um, fantastic. Also, Facebook and Instagram stuff are down below. Give it a wee look, a wee click, a wee follow, a wee friend request. Brilliant. So normally in these videos, what I tend to do is get a glass tumbler for every drink I'm doing, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. I can't be asked. I'm going to drink these, tell you what I think of them, and watch the rest of the game. So... We'll, start, we'll kick off with the blueberries and apple one, right? They've been in the fridge for uh, a day, so they're lovely and chilled. Um, I'm just going to drink it right out of the bottle. Cause I told them this years ago, right? But it's a bit of a lie. Uh, told her that the Queen drinks Nuki Brun out of the bottle. That's what Gary Tankvander says. The Queen drinks Nuki Brun out of the bottle, but... Can you imagine the Queen drinking Newcastle Real Ale out of the... Or Brown Ale, whatever it's called. Out of the... Bottle. Oh! I've got about three or four fancy bottle openers, right? The Superman one, the Forrest Gump one, and the Still Game one. All three have went walkies. I think the kids grabbed them and he's fucking stashed them somewhere. So I'm back to the, the trusty bad boy, the tin opener slash bottle opener, all that crap. Very funny thing, guys, right? I know I'm not even drinking a cider yet. If you haven't seen Blue Van Man's uh, video on the tin opener, type in Blue Van Man tin opener and it will blow your fucking mind. Pardon my French, but it does. Some, it's, it's unreal. I'm not going to spoil it for you. Just type in Blue Van Man bottle opener, tin opener, whatever you want to call it, and have a swatch at that, guys, right? So, this cider, we're very fruity. Wow. Blueberries and apples. I don't think I've ever had a blueberry and apple cider before. Did we still got it? It smells kind of, it smells similar to Cotterberg. It smells quite sweet and sugary. Um, Oh, that's nice. It's not as sweet as you think it's going to be. It, it smells really, really, really sweet, but it's not that, um... Oh, that's... Uh... Now, I know I'm drinking this on a, a January's uh, afternoon. That's ideal for the seed. The summertime, guys. Tell, I don't like icing my drink, but that's, that's good, that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is like that. Put the side. That one's good. Blueberries and apples, uh, 8 out of 10, fantastic, it's really really nice, I would have it again, easy. Next we have the cranberry cider, cranberry and lemon, now, I've definitely had a cranberry cider before, 
Uh, so this is going to be a new thing for me. Uh, Alright, so guys, jump across to Crane's Cider on Instagram and give them a wee follow. Two guys, two brothers, identical twins to be fact, uh, who have set up their own kind of... Who have set up their own cider company, if you will, cider brand. And they do all their stuff themselves and hard working bunch of fellas. They're just trying to get by in life and sell their, their booze and so far for me it's fantastic, I'm loving it. Cranberries and limes, naturally light, brewed by fountain, I've just said that before. Ben and Dan, their names, Ben and Dan, fantastic. Brew the finest cranberries alongside apples. Fantastic, there we go. Oh. Why not share a photo as well, Crane's drinks, so you can tag them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the lot. Got it sorted. Oh. That smells even more sweet than the last one. Oh, that's quite, that's, that's sharper than that one. Um, oh, that's not as sweet as that at all. That's a, that's a wee bit kind of, a bit more sharp, that's a bit more oof to it. Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad. It almost, it reminds me of the Cotterberg Black, the, the, the blackberries and black current one but it's not as strong as that it's a bit better than that one um for anyone who doesn't like a very sweet cider likes it more like cider with a touch of fruit to it try the cranberries and lime i know i'm, I'm right there i'm checking it i look at my gregory pecks on so i can't really see i can't even that's why i can always squint my eyes i can't really see what i'm doing so for me guys even though it's a great cider a more sweet tooth as you know uh, Still gets a 7 out of 10 for me, that's fantastic. It's a very easy cider to drink, this cider. I wonder how many times this video I've said cider already. Weird. So that's the last one, guys. It's raspberries and pomegranate. So that's going to hopefully be a bit more sweeter than the last one. Uh, 4%, 500 millilitres. And so they're £1.50 each in Asda, right? And they've only had three available flavours in Asda. Pardon me. <coughs> and, uh, excuse me. And these are the ones I, I thought, why not just get all three? So that's £4.50 for three bottles of cider. Winner. You go to the pub and it's like fucking nearly five pound a pint these days. Can barely open this. There we go. Pardon me, right? So raspberries and pomegranate. Oh that smells sweet. Oh. Oh to me. Hmm. Almost like blackcurrant tasting, almost. Taste, taste dark. Taste dark. Um, very nice. Very nice ciders, guys, right? Raspberries and pomegranates. You can taste the you can taste the raspberry straight away. Pomegranate, not so much on that one. I think the raspberry overtakes it. Oh Christ, I didn't even see these. I didn't even see these. Oh Christ. So I do, I'll check them all. Take that bottle over to fuck. Right, this one here is vegan friendly, right, you can see it there, it is also gluten free, and uh, so, that's, that one's brilliant, hold on, let me check the rest of them. So, the, the raspberries and pomegranates are gluten free and uh, vegan friendly, and so is the other two, hey, here we go, so ciders for everybody, happy days, uh, what one did I open first again, the blue, the blue one? That's nice. I think my favourite. It's my favourite, that one. It's more sweet. That's the sweetest one they've got that I've tried anyway. Blueberries and apples. Fantastic. Uh, oh, the other one. The raspberries and pomegranates. Out of ten. Seven and a half. It's not bad. It's, it's quite nice. Uh, I must say I prefer these ciders to the to the Aldi one. Aldi one was alright, you know, but it was not bad. But this, this is, I think the Aldi one was about one pound forty nine for a, a, a bottle, and it was okay. One pound fifty, and it's fantastic. So that one's my buying favourite. Have you guys tried these before? The Crane cider, Crane's cider. If you haven't, guys, you can get on online as the and get delivered to your house for one pound fifty. Uh, you can go to the shop yourself and get get it. 
think I've had too much. Uh, and you can get it yourselves, £1.50 a go. So for £4.50 for three bottles of cider. Unreal. The good ladies out in the garden, doing the good things in life, the good jobs, picking up tollies, brushing the stones back onto the, out of the path, so things like that. So guys, overall, right, when we're going to give this cider as an overall product, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, and you don't know what to expect when it comes to things like this, see when you, you have uh, brands that aren't kind of in your face, like you get, You've got like Strombo, Cottleberg, you've got uh, even Recorder League and all that stuff. These ciders are kind of well known brands. So Cranes is an up and coming thing. Very nice cider. Two great guys doing the cider. So for me, I think you've got to, you've got to support the, the smaller people. You do. You've got to support people who bust their balls to give you some good good gear. So there we go. So 9 out of 5, uh, 9 out of 5? <laughs> 9.5 out of 10 for me. I'll definitely have that cider again. I think I'll be on the lookout for more flavours if there are any more coming out. And if I'm ever in uh, Asda, I don't fancy any of the, of the beers, I'll have one of the ciders. So guys, give them a wee go if you haven't given them a wee go yet. If you have, what did you think of them? Do you think they're brewing? I think you will. Uh, so guys, thanks very much. Have a pleasant evening and I'm on the Rangers. Cheerio!